Hey guys, welcome back! Today we're looking at a pretty cool mod. So today's mod that we're going to be looking at is called the Carpenter mod. If you couldn't tell from the title. Okay, to get you started, you're going to need one oak wood planks and eight sticks and it's to make what's called a carpenter block. It's going to give you five carpenter blocks. To use this, you're going to use this to build basically all of the other recipes in this mod. For starters, you're going to need to build a carpenter chisel, which is made by carpenter one carpenter block and one iron ingot, and you're going to need to make a carpenter's hammer, which is made by one by two carpenter's blocks and three iron ingots. So, first you're going to be able to make Using six carpenter's blocks, you're going to be able to make a carpenter's hatch. You're also going to be able to make with two carpenter blocks and two sticks, carpenter barrier. To make a gate, you're going to need two carpenter's blocks and four sticks. To make what's known as a carpenter's collapsible block, you're going to need nine carpenter's blocks. To make a carpenter's button, you're simply going to need one carpenter's block. To make a carpenter's lever, you're going to need one carpenter's block and one stick. To make one carpenter's ladder, you're going to need seven carpenter blocks. In order to make four carpenter stairs, you're going to need six carpenter's blocks. And to make a carpenter's daylight sensor, you're going to need three carpenter's blocks, two redstone, one lapis lazuli, and three glass. In order to make a carpenter's flower pot, you're going to need three carpenter's blocks. In order to make a carpenter's wedge slope, yes, this mod adds slopes! In order to make it, you're going to need three carpenter's blocks and three sticks. In order to make a carpenter's torch, yes, you're going to need car one carpenter's block and one coal or charcoal. Either one works. In order to make what's called a carpenter's pressure plate, you're going to need two carpenter's blocks. In order to make a carpenter's safe, you're going to need seven carpenter's blocks, one block of iron, and one redstone. In order to make a carpenter's door, you're going to need six carpenter's blocks. And the last recipe, in order to make a carpenter's bed, you're going to need three carpenter blocks and three wool. I now have wheat. So let's take a look at the first item. The carpenter's wedge slope. You place this down, it looks nice, etc. What is really cool about the carpenter's mod is that you can take any item, um say this quartz block and you'll be and you can right click to place that item as that block to get the item back simply just punch simply just destroy the uh the thing that you made and it'll give you back both of them if you take the carpenter's hammer and you left click you could spin it in multiple directions now if you right click you can change how it looks. So I cooked it twice there. Now I've got this kind of a shape. And then we have that shape upside down. And then we have this shape, same shape upside down. Then this shape, same shape upside down. This shape, upside down. This shape, upside down. This shape, rather interesting one, up. And then that shape. Then this shape, that shape, that shape, that shape, and that shape. And that's all the shapes. Of this one and most of these other ones do do that now what you're able to do is you're able to right click with this stuff now with the carpenter's chisel if you right click or left click you can go through a series of quite a few patterns oh look I'm out <laughs> of decoration of ways that you can decorate or make the blocks look now it doesn't have to be blocks if you right click say for with wheat now it looks like this on that side. On, like now it looks like that. But if I, and some some of the items don't have an ability to do that. But if I was to go through cycling, cycling through all of these things, you'd see all the different shapes and how how awesome it looks. Next item: the carpenter's stairs. Simple. Looks like stairs. Right click. It's now upside down. Now it looks like that. Upside down. That. Upside down. That. And that. So it does have a sideways one. Again, same same rules apply with the other one. You can chisel them, make them look 
awesome and epic and really cool all at the same time. Next is the Carpenter's Barrier. So you right click and it places it like fence. One thing you should notice immediately is that it looks a little bit different than regular Minecraft fence and that it doesn't connect to the ground at each post. Again, you can right click and place stuff like this or like this, which I think actually looks pretty cool. Again, you can right click to change the pattern of it or left click, etc. Now, if you take the hammer and right click, you can change the look of the fence. So this one's more of a picket, skinny pickety fence. This one's more of a wide pickety picket fence. This one's like the a stone brick fence, and then just regular fence. Next is the carpenter's gate. Place it down. Looks normal. Yep, you can do all the stuff. Do that. That actually looks, actually looks pretty cool. If again, right clicking. You could change it into this kind of a fence. Right click, it looks pretty cool. Again, you could do it with that one and that one. But it still is the same stuff. Next is the carpenter's block. Place it down. Yes, you could do all this kind of stuff. Now, if you take the carpenter's hammer and right click, you can go through a bunch of different modes. So you got sideways half blocks, half blocks, regular half blocks, and then the other facing sideways. If you right click, you can just go through on that particular side for this one. Next is the carpenter's button. Place it, button, yes. Right click. Oh, look, now it's the greasy button. You right click, you just does that. Left clicking. With these, you can invert or invert, you can invert or just or not invert the redstone output. So if it's inverted, it's sending it out an output until you press it. If it's not inverted, when you press it, oops, when you press it, it'll give you just that image, that it'll give you, when you press it, it'll give you a redstone signal. Next is the carpenter's lever. Again, you can place stuff all on it. Right clicking with it, this makes it. So shift right clicking, you can pop the item off. If you right click, you could invert the, th the output again. Next, to the carpenter's pressure plate. Place it down. Yep, you can do all the kind of stuff. Again, right clicking, you can invert the redstone output. If it's redstone related, you can invert the output. So, with this carpenter's data sensor, which I think really looks cool, you can invert the redstone output. Now, when there is sun, it does, it's not outputting a signal. But when there, and then normal is there's sun, it's outputting a signal. Yep, you can decorate that one too. Next is the carpenter's hatch. Now, like regular Minecraft hatches, yes, you can place it upside down. You place it face down, regular, just so everyone can see. Do that so it looks cool. If you right click, you can cycle through a bunch of different options. I think five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five different options for this one. No special effects on this one. Next is the carpenter's ladder. This one has no special effects. Although it actually has a sound. But what's really cool about the carpenter's ladder is you can place it anywhere. So like even here in the middle. And it'll still function as a ladder. See how I'm going up it even though it's not against a wall or anything. And you can do it like this too. Because it looks pretty cool. Next is the carpenter's collapsible block. Which I think is one of the best blocks in this thing. So if you take the hammer. Aim at this point. Right click. You'll see I just, I'm smashing this thing down. Meaning, I could basically build any one of the other shapes from this block. I could also, if you right click, it raises it. I could also build some interesting ones. Now, there is a glitch where if it's like this and you right click, or rather left click, it switches to this, but, that, but don't mind that. Next is the carpenter's torch, which emits light, color, and break. That's it. Next is the carpenter's safe. Now, I haven't had a whole bunch of time to play around with this one. Yes, you can color it. It looks pretty cool. But and it's restricted just to that person. But if you right click with the carpenter's hammer, items can only be taken out. If you right click again, items can only be put in. And this is for automation. Automation 
items can be inserted and extracted, etc. And or you can totally disable insertion, exertion, and, no insertion and excerpt. Ex you get what I mean. Now, if you shift right click with it, you're able to unlock the safe. Now it's available for public use. If you lock the safe, it's only viewable by you. Next is the carpenter's flower bar. Place it on the ground. Yep, you can color it any way you want. Right clicking on it, however, does change it through some interesting patterns. I don't remember how many, but we'll see. Quite a few, actually. I, pre I really like this one just because it looks really cool. Anyways, next is the carpenter's door. Which looks really cool and has a handle on both sides. It actually sticks out. Now this one has two separate pieces because it's two separate blocks. Right clicking on this one, it's a full glass door, it's a solid door, it's a screen door, or a nice French door, or just a hidden door on one side. So, Oh, and you can mix some of this stuff if it's like this. I forgot to mention that on some of the others. Now what else is cool, if you right click, you can have it act like an iron door. So I can right click but it won't open. Or you can have it act like a wooden door. Now when I right click it, it opens. Last but not least, we have the carpenter's bed. Which I think is the best looking block. One of the best looking blocks. Yep, you can decorate it like this. And like that. So now I've got... Mixy. If you left click through, you can cycle through a whole bunch of different options for bedding. My particular favorite one is this one. Just because it looks so cool! Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Jay or Super Survivor, and this has been your mod review of the Carpenter's Mod. Be sure to click on the link below and go to the uh, Mod Maker's website. I know they put a lot of work into this stuff. I just make videos and mess up, and you guys love it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to be sure to subscribe and become a clan member today. Also, follow me on Twitter. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time at the tube. Ciao.